So I got to tell you the story about why my granddad, well, he, he had all types of things, why, why Fords were better than all the other vehicles. But his favorite story of telling was, uh, so at the garage they had a, they had scrap metal out in the back where they would, broken parts and junk and all that, and they would sell it to the scrap yards. And, so they have a wood splitter, an old guy that would uh, sold firewood for a living. These are way before the days of chainsaws and hydraulic splitters. So this guy would cut by hand. That's what he did. That's a in this area. If you find yourself down and out, maybe you've got a convicted of a crime, convicted felon, or just lose your license, or who knows what. You know, all the things that just happen to guys in life. There's one thing you can always rely upon and always make a decent living at regardless of your education, background, anything. That's cutting and selling firewood because you know we have all this timber in there. So there's guys that do that and make a good living at it if they're willing to work hard. Because you can sell it, if you have a dried cord of wood in the winter time, you can get 250, even I've seen $300 for it. And uh, you can sell a couple of those a day, that's cash money. So same thing went back in those days, you know, a guy, there was a guy that, he, that's what he did. He'd come to the Ford garage and dig through the steel in the back and ask him if he could buy it, you know, for a scrap metal price. And he was looking for big heavy axles from trucks and he would turn them into wedges, just like that one that I was driving there. And so uh, he came back, he was talking to my granddad and said, hey, you got any, any axles back there? And granddad said, no, I don't think we have any axles there, but you might go down the road to the General Motors Chevrolet dealership, they probably have some, and that old wood splitter with no education, didn't know much, said, uh, oh, oh no, no, only Ford steel is good enough to power, for pounding wedges. And my granddad always liked to remind people of that, that this guy, he didn't know much, but he knew that the metal that they used and the axles for the General Motors and uh, Mopar, Dodge, Plymouth, all that stuff, they wouldn't hold up. And when you, when you pound on them, they just go to pieces. But uh, the steel that they used to make the Ford axles would last the best. So that was <laughs> that was his proof that that's why Ford's better because they their axles make better wood cutting wedges. Mm -hmm.